Like many, Kelly White lost her job when the country locked down, leaving her at home with little to do. She struggled with alcohol in the past, but believed her drinking was under control. I mean, if you wake up at 7 in the morning and they're drinking on the news at that hour, well, what's wrong with you if you started drinking? The problem is they may have just had a sip where I was actually drinking gla a glass upon glass upon glass until I passed out. But just months into the pandemic, Kelly White received a diagnosis that would change her life forever. Whatever was going on in my, internally in my body, I couldn't get comfortable. It felt like it felt like my stomach was so full and my organs were trying, they were fighting for space. Her drinking led her to the hospital, where doctors discovered that she had life-threatening inflammation and scarring of her liver. They just said to me, you need to stop drinking. If you have another drink, you'll die. Kelly's case is not unusual and is now part of an alarming new trend. Alcohol sales skyrocketed two and a half billion dollars the three months after lockdowns began, up almost 35% from the year before. And doctors across the country have seen a dramatic rise in hospitalizations for alcohol-related liver disease since lockdowns began. NBC News has spoken to hospitals that have seen a 30 to 40 percent increase in admissions for alcoholic hepatitis compared with previous years. A study published last week found that the number of people waiting for a liver transplant from drinking doubled during the pandemic. In fact, up to 40 percent of people diagnosed with alcoholic hepatitis could face death, according to Dr. Brian Lee, a liver specialist at the University of Southern California who has seen this concerning rise firsthand. I think something that's important and hasn't been studied enough is really this idea of mommy wine culture, this, this messaging of using alcohol to, to cope or um, with the challenges of parenting or even celebrating that. The typical patient is a woman under the age of 40 who began to increase their drinking because of stresses from the pandemic, like childcare, in part because of slogans like wine o'clock and social media filled with memes of moms drinking. If we're seeing patients coming in with end-stage liver disease and liver failure fighting for their life as a young woman in their 20s, there's nothing normal about that. Of course, it's not just moms. Other folks who had an alcohol problem previously, or even those with no history of issues, also saw a rise in liver damage from drinking. Experts are urging for awareness and a healthier way to cope with stress to combat this alarming rise in alcohol use. There are also other mindfulness activities, whether it be yoga, meditation. These are all things that have been shown to reduce anxiety and stress without the problems of organ failure. Kelly is now dealing with her stress by seeing family and friends and exercising. And just two weeks ago, she celebrated one year sober. If there's one thing she could say to those still struggling, there is help and you are not alone. If people were to approach me, I would want it to be of support, to hold my hand and be like, I'll walk with you during this process. I'll sit with you. The last thing you want to do is to lose them, even though that you may push them away. You really don't want them to leave.